Hola amigos, Dr. Labrinaki. Welcome to the Michigan test for teacher certification in Spanish number 028. On this exam, there's going to be 80 multiple choice questions, two constructed responses. It's going to take you about two hours and 30 minutes, cost you $129, and you're looking for a passing score of 220. All right, vamos a empezar. All right, there's going to be six sections on this test. The first one is the listening. It's going to be 15 to 20 multiple choice questions, making up 15% of your overall test score. Number two is reading 15 to 20 multiple choice questions, 50 minutes and 15%. Section number three, language structures, 15 to 20 multiple choice questions, 15%. Section number four is cultural understanding with 15 to 20 multiple choice questions and 15%. Section five is second language acquisition theories and instruction, 15, uh, 20 to 25 multiple choice questions and 20% of your overall score. And section six is writing with two constructive responses that make up 20% of your overall exam score. So in today's video, we're gonna look at each part section by section to help you understand and prepare for them for your test. All right, so in the listening with the 15 to 20 multiple choice questions, some ways that you can practice are going to this website at SpanishListening.org. There's Spanish speakers from around the world that answer prompts and they speak for about 30 to 60 seconds on a variety of topics. As long as you're watching a movie, why not set it on the Spanish audio and subtitles and practice that way? You can check out news, weather, and radio through the internet in Spanish or an enjoyable way is listening to music in Spanish. All right, up next is reading. This test has 15 to 20 multiple choice questions. So check out your local library and see if they've got books in Spanish. Even children's books in Spanish can help improve your vocabulary and grammar. There's another website called nationalspanishexam.org. It's got reading, listening, vocabulary, and grammar practice activities. I'm gonna put a link in the comments section below. You might want to check out newspapers from around the Spanish-speaking world. One example is elpais.com from Spain and practice reading there. Some magazines you could check out in Spanish might be People in Espanol. And um, they have short articles similar to what you're going to see on the test. And there's also advertisements that have pictures with catchy slogans in Spanish where you can practice reading as well. All right, the next section is language structures. So there's gonna be some more multiple choice questions. They're gonna test your spelling, grammar, um, comparing first language and second language. So again, at the nationalspanishexam.org, there's practice activities there or Spanish dictionary at spanishdict.com. Um, studyspanish.com has a grammar section. And then listening to music in Spanish and English is a great way to practice that as well. All right, I have got this other video that gets a lot more in depth on pedagogy for the World Languages Pedagogy Praxis Exam, um, Second Language Theories. Yeah, it's about 26 minutes. I'm gonna put a link in the comments section below. So if you wanna refresh um, that stuff, um, check out this video. It'll help you get ready for the next section of the test here. All right, so in cultural understanding, there's a three Ps and more multiple choice questions to test you but the products, practices, and perspectives. You need to know about food, music, and literature, or celebrations and customs, religion, life, and family are all examples of the three Ps to be familiar with to show your cultural understanding. All right, the next part talks about uh, second language acquisition, instruction, and assessment. There's gonna be more multiple choice questions. So they're gonna test your knowledge on theories, standards like the ACTFL's five C's, be familiar with those, know those. Um, what are some methods of teaching world languages? And then also professional development opportunities. All right, so the writing, um, there's gonna be two constructed responses in the second language in Spanish. So you need to write about 200 to 250 word essays, and they're gonna judge you on your development, mechanics, syntax, grammar, vocabulary, coherence, and communication in Spanish. Okay, so uh, writing prompt A might be an example here. Um, a teacher exchange application, explain the time that was beneficial for you to know a second language. So again, you're gonna write about 200, 250 words on that prompt in Spanish. 
All right, and our second prompt is responding to an email. So make sure you know how to start a letter in Spanish and close a letter in Spanish. And you should, um, here's your example. Should your friend take a year off of school or work to travel and use her second language? What do you think? Again, you're gonna write about 200 to 250 words in Spanish, and they're gonna judge your Spanish writing ability based on what you say. All right, gracias por mirar. This is Learning Spanish with Dr. L. Go ahead, click that subscribe button. It's gonna give you free access to all of my Spanish test prep videos. Adios, chao, y buena suerte en tu examen.